those of you who didn't quite understand, let me just elaborate a little on exactly what took place. In February 11th, a prophecy came forth saying that an earthquake major will strike the northern region of the Indian Ocean. Then in March, a prophecy came, March 28th, saying that... What happens when 866 earthquake happens? And it was said that it's going to be a major earthquake on the earth. Then in April, the month after, this is three months cons consecutively, the next month, God revealed it in the middle of April, and this was voiced April 1st, right here before you, posted on the channel page April 9th. And it said that in the, in the middle of April sometime is the initiation of a major prophetic fulfillment upon the earth. Now, April 11th came, and an earthquake struck Indonesia, fulfilling that prophecy in February that the northern part region of the Indian Ocean, that's where Sumatra is. And not only that, it was an 8.6 magnitude earthquake, as in March when the prophecy said, what happens when 866 earthquake happens? So are you hearing how God is speaking in such clarity? Bless the name of Jesus. Then in April, he said, it's the initiation of a major prophetic fulfillment upon the earth. That fulfillment being when Jesus spoke and the disciples said, what will be the signs of the last days, the end of the world, and you're coming. And he said, one of the things he said was there'll be earthquakes in diverse places. In that April 1st prophecy, it said that it means there'll be a number of events. And when that earthquake struck, it triggered earthquakes worldwide for six days. You see the 866 connection? 8.6, six days of earthquakes worldwide. The initiation of a major prophetic fulfillment. What also makes that the initiation of a major prophetic fulfillment is that when that earthquake happened, and this is new recent developments, a tectonic plate was born. For those of you who don't know what a tectonic plate is, it's the scientific theory that describes the large scale motions basically of the Earth's lithosphere, which is the outermost shell of the Earth. And what happens is the tectonic plate is basically the, 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 the foundation, is, is what the foundation of the Earth's crust. But what happens is the tectonic plates is what causes earthquakes. That's the source of earthquakes. So the birth of a new plate from this earthquake, April 11th, increases the possibility of the earthquakes that are to come. Bless the name of Jesus. You see how God is speaking? And there are 10 major plates on the earth. And another one has been born. They said, they said this was a weird quake. They never seen nothing like it. Usually a quake hits the borderline of the, 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 the boundary of the fault line. This one hit the middle. And not only that, usually when a quake hits, it hits one fault line. This quake hit one fault line, traveling at 100 miles a second, hit a second one, ruptured it, hit a third one, ruptured it, and hit a fourth one. You know what that means? They said because each one of those fault lines was registered at an 8.0, that earthquake was basically four times the magnitude registered. So that was a 32.0 on the Richter scale. You never heard nothing like this in your life. And recently in Italy, as you've seen, the scientists are being jailed for failure to predict earthquakes. An earthquake that happened in 09, they were going to be charged with manslaughter if found guilty. The scientists said, hey, listen, we don't know how to predict earthquakes. I read it myself. It reminds me in the Bible, huh? glory to God, when Nebuchadnezzar had a dream and he said, listen, I need you to gather the sorcerers. Gather the magicians, all you wise men who claim you know something. Huh? I need you all to come. I don't care, sinner, church people. I need you to tell me the interpretation. And when they came, they said, tell us this dream. And he said, if I tell you, you're going to make up a story and tell me that's what it means. But if your power is true, you tell me the dream and the interpretation. You know what they said? They said, there's not a man. Look in Daniel to yourself. Upon this earth, who can reveal such a thing? 
glory to God the Bible says in Psalm 25 14 the secret of the Lord is with them that fear him and ladies and gentlemen there happened to be a man on the earth uh, by the name of Daniel uh, and he came to the king he said what's this that you're gonna destroy you're gonna kill the wise men I heard the decree well listen the king said can you tell me the interpretation and the dream that I had he said here's what he said listen he said in Daniel 2 27 the secret which the king demanded cannot the wise men, the sorcerers, etc. reveal. Verse 28, but there is a God in heaven, hallelujah, that revealeth the secrets and maketh known unto the king what shall be in the last days. Oh my God, that's not in the Bible. That's in the Bible. What shall be in the last days? You know where, the, where that happened with those men? The similar scenarios? That was in Italy. Italy. Rome. The capital of Italy. Babylon. King Nebuchadnezzar. Do you see the connection? And he told him about the revived Roman Empire in that same prophecy of Nebuchadnezzar's dream. And here we see a repeat where in Italy, in Babylon, they said, wait, 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 we don't know. We can't tell you. Glory to God, but there's a church down the block. There's some small people that's disregarded, that hear from God and already prophesied. Every single one of these quakes, bless the name of Jesus. Listen, in closing, we got to be humble as ever. God is speaking. We don't even qualify, but the fact that he's using this, glory to God. Bless the name of Jesus. We got to make ourselves more available for his service. God bless your hearts.